Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all seven Jedi chambers here in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now the first chamber we're gonna show you how to find is called the Chamber of Duality, which is found in the Rambler's Reach Outpost. We're gonna be starting from the Plune Saloon uh, Meditation Site. And once you start from down here, we're just gonna head out the door. And this chamber is gonna be found directly across from the Plune Saloon. So you guys can see that right here is Plune Saloon. We're gonna head around to the front side over here. And once you work your way over here, this one's pretty easy to find. It's going to be right over here covered with some cloth on top. So if you head right across the path here, you'll be able to walk up to this yellow looking door. You can interact to open and you'll go on the elevator and this is how you get to your first chamber. Now our next chamber is going to be called the Chamber of Clarity. And the quickest way to this one is to go over to the Untamed Downs meditation point here on Kobo. It's going to be located in the Untamed Downs. If you don't know how to get here, right over here is the Rambler's Reach Outpost. You just got to work your way this direction and you can just work your way all the way through the Untamed Downs and get to the back side. And once you get back here and take this, if you already have this meditation site, we're just going to head through the cave as soon as you spawn and we'll end up on the outside. You guys will be able to see over here is the fort and over there is the giant tower. It's a pretty obvious spot, but you want to hop on one of these creatures. They're going to be running around in this area. There should be several of them. But you want to grab one and right over here on the left you guys are going to see these vines if we ride this thing right up onto the rocks right here we can triple jump off of this grab onto the vines we're going to climb up to this little ledge here so we can jump to this ledge we'll go to the left and we're going to jump to this other ledge now we can drop down we'll work our way over here and then we can jump up and grab these vines and once you get to the top of these vines you guys will see Right here, we have the entrance to our next chamber. Our next chamber is going to be called the Chamber of Detachment, and it's going to be found over in Mountain Ascent. You guys can see from Rambler's Reach Outpost, it's just going to be up the mountain here. And at Mountain Ascent, we actually have a meditation site, so we're going to show you how to get there from here. Once you make it to the meditation site, you'll see this green wall in front of you. We're going to run up to this green wall and use Dash so that we can get through. We'll have another green wall. We can use Dash once again. And once we get over here, we're going to jump down and jump across. You'll have a couple enemies here, so be careful. And we're going to go through a little secret entrance in this waterfall. So we can actually go through the water. And back here, we'll find the yellow door for our next chamber. Now, our fourth chamber is going to be found over here in Basalt Rift. So we're going to take the Basalt Rift meditation point. You guys can kind of see the area over here. And from the meditation point, as soon as you spawn in, we're going to head over here toward this pipe looking thing. And we're going to have a bridge. Now, we're going to cross this little green bridge here. Once we cross this bridge, we'll hang a right. We're going to continue to work straight. You can go through the little pipe. We'll go up the hill and you guys will see some vines in front of us. We can actually climb up those vines to get to the next section. Once you get up here, we're just going to head up the hill. and We're going to take a right onto this broken bridge and you guys are going to see a rope hanging right here. We're going to run and jump across to this rope. Grab on, swing across, and you guys will see the entrance to the chamber right here. Now our next chamber is the Chamber of Connection, and this is going to be found all the way over here in the Viscid Bog. You guys can see this is pretty far out from everything, but we do have a meditation site here, so we'll show you how to get there from the Viscid Bog meditation site. So once you get here and spawn in, we're going to run right over here to the zip line. Now we're going to go about halfway down the zip line, and then we're going to jump onto the other zip line and go left. So I'll show you guys what to do. We'll jump here. As soon as we get to the middle, we can jump off this one, grab onto this one, and we'll swing down here. You guys can already see the entrance. And once we land, we'll go under the rock here. You want to be careful as you will start sinking. And once you get over here, we will be able to grapple before you drown. And we'll make it up to the next level. Now, once we're up here, we're just going to follow this little bridge all the way around. And once we get over here, you guys will see we have the entrance to our next chamber. Now, our next chamber is going to be found over in the Devastated Settlement. You'll need to make your way through here in the main story and complete the puzzle. And once you get over here, we're going to start from the Grand Courtyard Meditation Site. You have a couple different ones up here. but The easiest one to start from is the Grand Courtyard. So once you're here, we're going to immediately turn to the left and you guys are going to see this bird. We're going to fly this bird over to this waterfall. So right over here on the left, we have a pretty cool looking waterfall. We're going to fly down there. We're actually going to use the laser that's on this cliff side. So once we land, we can come right over here and we're going to use this laser. We've already used this to work through the puzzle. And once you grab this laser, what we want to do is look over here to the right. I'm going to point exactly where you want to be. You guys are going to see that right under this weird looking box thing, we have a little ledge. Right here is the ledge. 
you want to just leave it sitting right there because we're going to end up using this thing. Now, once you have the laser pointed in the right direction, we're going to come right over here and use this bird. And we're going to fly over to where we just put that laser. So we can use one of these little volcano things to fly a little bit higher up so that we don't miss. And we'll just slowly float down here. Be careful if you hit any of these, the bird will drop you and you don't want that to happen. We'll just take it slow and we're going to land right here where the laser's at. And what we're going to do is use one of BD1's abilities to draw that laser inside. So you may have some many enemies in here that you need to take out. So go ahead and do that before you get started. And once you do that, we can head right back over here to this laser. And what we're going to do is pull out BD1 and we're going to use his little ability where we can drag the laser inside. We'll go ahead and do this inside. And right here on the left side, we're actually going to have a door that we need this to burn. So you guys can see it right here. Just keep dragging it across until you see where you need to put it right here on the left that's going to open up this door and once you go inside we can pick this up and you will have completed this chamber now to get our seventh and final jedi chamber we're going to head over to the southern reach meditation point that's found over here in the southern reach it's actually right at the entrance when you leave the derelict dam so we're going to start from this meditation point we're going to work our way up the path into the reach and once you get down to the end here you guys are going to find a bird that we can fly on so once we come over here, we're going to hop on this bird and we're going to fly over there to the rock structure. So we'll go ahead and jump up. And if we fly over here, we're actually going to have an entrance that we can go in. So we'll come right over here and land. This will probably be closed for you if you haven't been up yet. So just go ahead and open that and then you can drop down inside. And once you drop down inside, we're really just going to follow this main path all the way to the bottom floor. Come down here, we'll force lift this up. And we're going to dive through this green wall and wall run and jump up to the next level. So we'll dive through, wall run here, and we'll jump up here. You'll have a couple enemies that you'll encounter. You can take them out or continue to move over to this section. And once you get over here, we're going to wall run again and slowly slide down until we grab on to that latch. So we'll run across. We can jump on here. And as we slide down, we're going to grab onto this thing. We're going to drop down one more level. And once you drop down, we can drop here and jump across. Now, once you're here again, you might encounter some enemies. So go ahead and take those guys out. And once doing so, we're now going to open up this wall. So this will probably be closed. We'll go ahead and use the force that we can wall run. And we're going to wall run over there to that gate, which once we grab onto, it's going to allow us to fall safely. We'll wall run here. We can wall run right here on the right side as well. And then we'll grab onto this gate. It'll fall to the ground and we'll be able to land without getting hurt. Now, once you land, we're gonna hop on this zip line, go across to this gate here. And once you grab on, we're gonna work to the left. We'll go up, then we're gonna go all the way around. So just continue to follow this around. And we can actually go up right here and take this guy out without him knowing. And once you do that, we're gonna head all the way to the end. We're gonna go to this little elevator on the right. There'll be an elevator right here. If it's not here for you, you can call it using this machine and it'll work its way up. And once it's here, we can get on it, take it to the bottom. Now the exit's gonna be right here to your left, but to get to the chamber, we're gonna go to the right. So what we'll do is we'll use the force to lift this thing up. And once you do, we can use that to wall run on. We can make it right over here to this platform. And once you do, we can jump across and this is going to be the entrance to your last Jedi chamber. But this is how to find all seven Jedi chambers here in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.